Well, it's Kyle Busch on the pole. Juan Pablo Montoya on the outside. Rain washed out qualifying and Michael Waldrop didn't make the field. That's the long and short of it. Short and long of it. Mike Muller from MikeMuller.net, Kentucky Speedway. Friday. Wait to see how traffic is for Saturday's Kentucky 400. Talked to Bruton Smith today, the guy that owns this place that just bought it. Whoa, I tell you, he's a trip. He's a character. If you ever get a chance to shoot the bull with him, chew the fat, you'll see what I mean. He rambled and rambled and hemmed and hawed, and we're still trying to sort out just what he says. He likes it like that. He loves to be the center of attention, and he was hinting that he wants to buy another track. I don't know. Dover, Pocono, Indianapolis. Now, can you imagine the Indianapolis 500 run by Bruton Smith? Woo! It'd be a show. I mean, just what Indianapolis needs. It's sort of been in a funky mood the last couple of years. NASCAR crowds are down, and the Indy 500 itself is not what it used to be. Maybe Bruton Smith could make something happen up there. He's down there with the governor doing all the political stuff. He says he wants to put an airport in here at Kentucky Speedway. He says he wants to tear down this entire garage, which is really a mess, and he apologized for it and said he wants to tear it down and haul all the pieces over to Darrell Walter's place and leave him in his front yard. Darrell was the guy that helped design this thing. It's in the shape of a W, which might seem pretty cool if you're flying over it in a blimp. But when you're down here having to work in it, it's a long hike from one side to the other. And the trucks are parked in the wrong spot, and the cars are over here, and even the crews were saying this is not very well organized. Bruton says he's going to change that, but we asked Bruton about the soft walls, remember? Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon were complaining that there are not enough soft walls around here, and they've had some hard licks. In fact, there were some hard licks here a couple of years ago. No soft walls, and even Kyle Busch said they moved to turn one infield wall way too close to the racetrack when they redesigned Pit Road last fall. Well, Bruton didn't take very kindly to all that. He doesn't take kindly to criticism, as we found out ourselves every now and then. But he's going to go ahead and do something maybe next year, maybe the year after that. Repaving? Uh, he's supposed to be repaving this place and redesigning it to look like Texas. Now he says this afternoon, might not do that for a year or two. Might just let him put up with the bumps. Drivers want to complain? <laughs> let him ride. Bruton, you want to be on this good side. You don't want to be on this bad side. On this good side, sunny weather. On this bad side, the guy could be stormy. <laughs> Pretty good. Kyle Busch on the pole for Saturday's Kentucky 400. Kyle Busch, who won Thursday night's truck race here. And we'll see what Juan Pablo Montoya can do. And everybody else. Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net.